Hi guys, um, so I'm going to be doing a video for you today. Um, I thought I'd go through all my um, drugs, drugstore mascaras um, and show you all the ones I've got and all the ones I think are really good um, for the buy and everything. I have in total 13 drugstore mascaras. I should have probably should have counted those before. So not 13, I have 12. Um, Yeah, I have 12 um, and one comes with a serum so I'm gonna show you um, what I think of them okay I'm gonna start with Maybelline the ones that I have from Maybelline I have quite a few well a couple Ooh, I have a couple from Maybelline um, a couple from L'Oreal some of the um, cheaper ones, CoverGirl, blah blah blah. Okay, we'll start with um, the four mascaras that I have from L'Oreal. Okay, this is the first one that I have. It's called Falsies. It's in a purple and blue casing. The brush looks like this. As you can see, it got thinner and thicker there. I really, really, really dislike this brush. I really don't like it. Um, I don't like the way it's um, thin there and then thick there. I prefer my brushes to be round. Um, but I will say that I do find the product um, inside of the tube quite well, quite, quite well, worked quite well. Um, what I tend to do with um, my mascaras if I don't like the brush straight away, I will use a brush that I do like um, in the formula and change it immediately. Um, I'll show you what brush I used on it in a minute, but I don't want to show you yet because it's in my mascara. Um, I found the, the consistency of this, um, so it thinned out of your, your lashes. Um, I don't know if you can see my lashes right now. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, they're not that thick today, but I like my lashes to be quite thick um, and long. <clears throat> um, but I haven't really been out today, so they're not really how I like them. I don't have any eyeliner on either. Oh, I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck. Um, but this is the Four C's. Um, I would recommend it for the um, solution, but not so much for the brush. Second one I'm going to do is Maybelline's Lash Stiletto. That is what the brush looks like. It's round all the way around. I do really, really love this brush. Um, the bristles are all mismatched. They're not in the same like con um, constituency or whatever you want to say um, as the rest. I also think the formula in this is amazing. It gives you just the right... Um, it it spaces out your lashes as well as doing what it says making them stiletto long and thin I really do like it um, it's good for me for a first coat to thin up um, to separate my lashes blah 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 and if you put more than one coat on it starts to thicken up I do really would recommend this mascara for a drug brand drugstore brand I have the Define Lash Volume um, Mascara in Waterproof I also, I always used to think it says hydroproof, uh, hydrofuge, so it's not waterproof, but on the other side it says waterproof. It's in a pink and blue casing. It is in the colour very black, but you won't be able to see that because my camera doesn't focus. Uh, this is what the brush looks like. I will just say before anything, I love this brush really 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 adore this brush um i love plastic brushes i think they go on a lot lot better um i think they separate your lashes a lot better because they're harder and plastic whereas the brush ones not as well um in my personal opinion i do prefer myself smaller brushes for my first coat to thin out my lashes i keep saying thin out my lashes separate my lashes um the liquid in this is also very, very good. Um, it's very dark, it comes on, uh, it goes on very well, but I personally do not like waterproof mascaras. Um, I do prefer the green one to this. I had the green one before, not obviously the... Whoa! 
thought it. Um, the mascara obviously doesn't come out green, but um, the casing is green and I did prefer it to this one. I'm not really sure what the different ones, but I did prefer it. And I don't love waterproof mascaras anyway. Now this was the Colossal Volume Express that everyone was getting, everyone loved, um, woo, everyone wanted it. So I went out and bought it to see what it was like. It's in a yellow and purple packaging. The brush does look like this. Quite a bold brush, as you can see. Um, now, before we get to anything, this is the brush I replaced my Forces brush with. I always used to use this brush for it. I love this brush. Um, I don't really love thick brushes, but this is one I like because it's exactly proportioned, it's round. I love how it is. Um, I don't so much love the, um, the formula of this one. It says um, Colossal Volume Express. I don't find personally that it gave me the volume I was expecting or that I advertised. I'm going to move into my L'Oreal mascaras. I do prefer Maybelline and L'Oreal mascaras, so I have quite a few of them. This is my L'Oreal Double Extend Two Easy Steps. <coughs> I will show you both sides. Ooh. These were the brushes. Hopefully, you can see those. One is a white end, one is a black. I'll show you them individually. White end black end. Um, it is a two step process, the white end first, the back end second. I didn't like it um, because the white end, the brush is thick so it clumps um, the white mascara together causing and the, the black side is exactly the same so it just makes all your lashes stick together. Um, I do like the clumpy effect but not as clumpy as this had made it. Having said that, it comes with the L'Oreal Parish Lash Serum. If you can see that, look it off. Um, I do find this quite works quite well. Um, it has like a hook type thing, uh, but it is a brush, and I find it works quite well. Um, now, I wasn't really sure how you used it at first, but if you look here, this part opens i don't know if you can i'm gonna get my hands all greasy ugh, it opens okay you put your lashes oh just to wipe my hands it's got all the serum all over myself oh oh icky you can um you get the serum in it and push your lashes oh my goodness gently between it if you don't want to do that because it is quite hard you can just gently go up and down as if you were doing a mascara on it and the serum gets on it just as well. Um, I find it works really well to moisturise your lashes. It doesn't help them to grow or help them to thicken or anything like that. It just helps um, moisturise your lashes and I like to keep my lashes nice. Now these are my personal favourites. Um, if I have a personal favourite I normally will have it in more than one, um, more than one, more than one colour or a general backup because I know I love it so much. These are the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascaras. Now I have the black one which is carbon black. I have the blue one which is in black but in waterproof. And I also have the original Telescopic Mascara which is in black is black. This is the original. Now they have a red one as well, which I have invested in buying, but I don't have it here. Um, it has a little small ball on the end of it. This is what the brush looks like. It's the same in all. It's a really thin plastic brush. Um, it has little bristles that separate your lashes amazingly. I would, I love this mascara. Um, I've recommended it to quite a few people and they said they would never use a different mascara again. Um, I would use, I will keep buying this mascara till it goes out of, you know, stock if they decide to stop buying it and then I will write various emails telling them how angry I am at them t because they stopped making it. Um, I'm tempted to start stocking up on it myself. Mine are almost running out so I do need to get some new ones. I don't like um, 
waterproof mascaras as much as I did say um, but I bought this one because I travel abroad quite a bit it is the same brush again uh, so I need the waterproof one because I go to a hot country and also like in the sea sweating this is the same thing it's just in carbon black which is more of a shiny black for when you're going out etc but I love them I would recommend them to anyone I would say to buy it it really separates my lashes um, it lengthens them uh, it just makes them look amazing if you only if you like your lashes to be you know just defined but not thick this is the one for you because one coat is amazing put three or four coats on and you'll get as thick as I mean I only have on the common black now I do have a layer of whoop, another mascara that I will show you in a minute I will show you right now this is the two-step Bourjois Paris um, da, 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 two -step, yeah that's it the two-step uh, volumizer mascara this is has a quite big tube so it has quite a lot of um, product in it now it has two brushes this is the first brush oh sorry oh it has two brushes this one is a bit thick it's a bit bigger than the other one but the brushes the brushes are more spaced out and this I don't really use this brush um, I don't really like this brush but I do love the second brush that I'm about to pull out which is brings out hopefully you can tell the difference in the brushes this one the bristles are a lot closer together they're a lot thicker and they just work so amazing um, to get really thick, thick lashes, volumized. This is definitely the one that you want for thick lashes. It's the Bourjois Paris Volumizer Mascara. I have my Rimmel London Glam Eyes. Um, I don't like the brush. I don't like the, can, the liquid, so I wouldn't even advise anyone to buy it. It worked well at first. But then it just makes your eyes go weird. I have my Miss Sporty Studio Lash. This is the cheapest mascara you can probably buy um, from a drugstore brand. It was about £2. I really do like the brush because, again, it's plastic and I love plastic brushes. And I actually love the liquid of it as well. Um, it really gets thick eyelashes. So if you want thick eyelashes, I would definitely recommend this. My last one is my Lash Blast Fusion from the one and only CoverGirl. Um, I'll show you the brush it's a really thick brush but it's also a plastic brush really thick handle as well the butt is quite big so it has quite a lot of product inside of it this has lasted me a while I genuinely love this um, I would normally put it on as a first coat to um, separate my lashes it does a really good job of that that is and it put on a thin layer if you want thick eyelashes I wouldn't recommend this one but I recommend it for anything else Anyway, um, I have to go quickly because my camera and battery is about to die. Um, but I'll upload this as soon as I can. And thanks guys for watching. See you soon.